I want to talk to you about the truth about working with celebrities. A lot of people think that once you get a celebrity gig, you Hollywood, everything goes up, up, up. It doesn't work like that. I mean, when I worked with my first celebrity, I felt the same way. I was like, I'm at the top. And it just, nothing crazy happens. Kind of like Instagram when people tell you, oh, after X amount of followers, this happens. No, there needs to be a strategy and a plan. And even though I know all of this, my page is not where it should be because it takes also a lot of work but nobody talks about that to go back to the reason why i'm making this video i'm here to tell you after having a certain amount of experiences with a certain level of people once the job is done sometimes the relationship is done you, they move on you move on that's it so i want to get into a list of things that people you somebody you know might perceive to be true that mm, might not be the case this is why a lot of coaches always tell you to keep talking about what you do to put it in your bio etc etc because if you don't talk about it nobody's gonna talk about it what you might be expecting is that celebrities always pay top dollar first things first that is not true they don't just hand you a wad of money like a drug deal <laughs> um after you do a service a lot of times the label or management pays you um not to say that they will never pay you out of their pocket but most times at that level they're just not so unless you're willing to advocate for yourself and say this is my price and this is what it is or have an agent the budget is the budget you also might be thinking that you get paid immediately that's not the case sometimes you do your work you'll see it on tv you'll see it in a magazine and you still didn't get paid for it sometimes these payments can take weeks can take months and the more complicated their process is is sometimes the more complicated it is for you to get money so yes you might be home seeing your things all over and thinking to yourself <laughs> I didn't even get paid for that yet. This is crazy. Speaking of money and payment, people might assume celebrities tip. That's not always the case. So you wanna make sure that you charge the value of what your time is worth because whatever you submit on that invoice, baby, that's the number they pay, not a drop more. Even if they tell you they love the job that you did, it does not necessarily mean that they will reach into their pocket and say, let me throw this person another hundred dollars. It doesn't work like that. Another thing that you might be thinking is that you will always receive credit or recognition for your work and then boom, life changes. But credits and recognition is not guaranteed. It just doesn't matter. Which leads me to my next point that it is not always true that one celebrity will lead to endless opportunities. That one celebrity moment might be that that one celebrity moment <laughs> even with that said sometimes it's for their convenience it's not even because you're amazing um sometimes management finds you. a lot of times it's the behind the scenes people that are doing the finding of the people that brings me to one quick point just because you did that moment doesn't mean you go put that person's name in your bio and say you do their hair you might just be the substitute next clarification i want to make is that celebrities are loyal and they're not it could be personal preferences it could be changes in management it could be just because you pop in at the time that doesn't mean they'll ever use you again you could be that thing for them in that moment and that's the end of that <laughs> it happens where people yes are loyal to certain celebrity makeup artists and certain celebrity hairstylists absolutely those connections and relationships are made is it the norm absolutely not the next thing that i want to point out is that for some reason people think working with celebrities is glamorous and it's fun and look at all the fun she's having that's not the case a lot of times you just have to be patient you have to put up with certain things and you have to use discretion because everything revolves around them you're a guest in their world everything literally is catered to them and again, this is, doesn't mean it's the norm. It doesn't mean it always happens. But I'm just being the voice of don't be so fooled by the things you see or the things you assume when you're sitting at home watching someone 
do something online that you think is amazing and fun because as a consumer of what's happening yes it is amazing and it is beautiful but behind the scenes a lot of people that work with celebrities are tired miserable waiting on their money telling themselves they never doing this again and there's so many other little layers of things and experiences that um we just don't talk about publicly because we don't want to burn bridges because you know we couth we just want to stay quiet whatever the case may be so this is just a video to say the next time that you want to call somebody hollywood oh you hollywood now you did so and so here you hollywood let's just bring it down a notch and remember that all those stars in hollywood on the floor are not in a glamorous neighborhood hollywood is a name brand but that does not mean that somebody's acting a certain way it could mean that they're struggling perspective okay okay